In our experience, the possessed party is aware they are being possessed. Yeah, that's true. However, here, Emil perceives the possession as a part of him, and recently he has no memory of the incidents. Mm hmm This is just as Rain predicted. Looks like she's right. What exactly did she say? Rain's hypothesis is that the real Emil is suffering from a form of amnesia. It is true. She theorizes that the Emil we know is an invention of his mind, created to fill in the holes of his mind. So it's kind of like dementia. Except it's not dementia. His aunt and uncle recognized him as their nephew. Are you sure? This is me as well. But Rain believes that his real self lies dormant along with his... We need to... Uh... Oh, so that means we're going to be... Pursuing our true self. She suspects that perhaps his pact with Ratatosk. That's right, Persona 4 reference. Unlocking this inactive portion. Otherwise, I see no reason why his personality. Notice how he walked. He just walked up on the right there. From borrowing Ratatosk's power. Emil. In other words. No, you're not a fake. You're not a phony. Regal. That's not exactly right. You're Emil as well. Everyone's Emil. I'm everyone. Face society after you lost your memory. After you lost your memory. Then what am I? This is nothing more than my own hypothesis. Rain might disagree. Perhaps this person named Aster is actually you. I'm Emil. Aster is supposed to be dead. Hmm. Could this be why I remember getting killed by Richter? Because I'm actually Aster? But then if you got killed, they told us to then back in the city. You wouldn't be alive, or if so, you would have that little halo thingy, and you don't be able to stand there for 24 hours. Let's go to the research academy Until an old alien that was trapped inside a sword gives up his life to bring you back to life. But Marta, we can't just but that's a completely like different enemy. Marta's right, and there's something else you should know. Regal's reason for saying all that wasn't so he could call you a fake. He brought it up because he's worried that you'll disappear entirely. Yeah, that's true, because he has been in, um, in Ratatouss mode a lot more recently. Is important to us, to me, Regal, Rain, to all of us. I am sorry for bringing all of this up. Please don't apologize. I want to know what's going on inside me more than anyone. Let's go to the research academy. Oh, okay. They all joined us. Um, we wanted to go. Where the hell are we going? Um. Ah, hell, I don't remember. Wait a minute, we wanted to talk to the director. Um, he's in. He's behind one of these doors. Um, no, not door number one. Um, door number two? No. I haven't, uh, done this in a while, so. Nope, not this door either. What the hell is he? My battery is at seven. Is he in here? What the hell? I have no idea where the... 
Where is he? Oh, is he upstairs? I, th I think he is upstairs. Uh, yep, there he is. I freaking knew it. Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Now, you wish to enter the Temple of Lightning? Yes, we do. Yes, you bet your ass we do. something else we'd like to ask you. What can you tell us about the person named Aster? And Richter as well. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Aster were related the moment I saw you. So, are you his brother? Oh, so you're his brother. I guess that means you'll be in involved a lot in a lot of important uh, plot events later on. Quite an interesting tale indeed. You yes, off-screen explanations Aster. for the win. You certainly look enough like him. Did you meet your relatives in Lewin when you were young? Got plugging my laptop there. Hmm. I met them for the first time after Palma Costa was attacked. Hmm. Ah, that would explain it. Certainly possible that Aster took on your name and identity somewhere along the line. But isn't Emil too young to have been a researcher here? Hmm. Aster began conducting research at our facilities when he was nine years old. Damn child prodigies. He was brilliant. It was hard to believe he wasn't a half elf. If he were still alive, he'd be 18. Emil, how old are you? I'm 16. But if I really did lose my memory... He's 16? What the hell? You wouldn't know how old you actually are. He's 300 and... 94. What did Aster research when he was here? Cookies. He was originally studying summon spirits. And by I cookies, I definitely mean summon spirits. Tokyo's elemental research laboratory. Hmm. I knew I recognized Emil from somewhere. While studying the relevance of ah, I see. and the environment, he theorized monsters regulate the world's mana levels. And he was kind of right, there's Centurions. a field test with a summon spirit called Ratatosk. And Richter went along too? Correct. Richter was a half-elf who worked here. He and Aster got along quite hmm. well, even collaborating in their research. The two left town to conduct the test together. So what happened? They did. So what happened? I don't know the details. Richter told us that Aster So I'm not really talking much here. This is just kind of important. Academy. This stuff is kind of important to the plot. Is there any way to find out whether Emil and Aster are the same person? A researcher named Relina is currently at the Temple of Lightning. She started working here at the same time as Aster. She and Aster okay, we should probably talk to this Relena. She also knows quite a bit about Radatosk. I'll give you a letter of passage to go inside the temple. Go and see her. Do it now. Are you sure? It's All like right. Really strict about who you'll let inside. Lately, we've had an unusual number of lightning storms around here. What's more, temple might be the source the of it. Dimensional boundary in part of the temple. Dimensional, dimensional boundary. boundary? In other words, how should I put this? This world and the detailed explanation yeah, basically, is far too complicated. This world and the Niflheim, anyway, which is like the demon world. Niflheim, I think, was sort of explained a little bit in Symphonia. Um, it really only Wait, came up in like a bonus dungeon thing where you could fight a uh, living armor, I think. Okay. I mean, that that was the last boss. It had a bit more HP than Abyssin did. But I'm pretty sure Abyssin was a hell of a lot harder. Anyway, I believe that's going to about do it for this recording. I hope those guards don't Frick give us skit. any more trouble. We've got an official okay from the director. We'll be fine. I guess. But what if they attack us and I lose my memory again? Emil, give me your hand. Huh? 
Oh, okay. Hey! Ouch! It hurts, right? That's proof you're here right now. Yeah. Does my the hell she do? Work? Yes. That means I'm here too, right beside you. So stop looking like you could disappear at any moment. Thanks. The hell does she do? Actually, no, I don't want to know. I'm, I'm just going to assume that she pinched him or something that's on the hand. Oh, I, I'm not going to warn you for that. <sighs> yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this recording. So next time. Um, next time, we will actually enter the Temple of Lightning. So, um, yeah, anyway, this has been GT. Uh, thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.